Behind Her Eyes, is one of the finest supernatural psychological thrillers to have hit the screens of your living room, or bedroom, if you will. Ever since the show premiered on Netflix in February 2021, the popularity of the show has increased phenomenally, thanks to its twist ending and the big reveal. Of course, some people found it to be downright ludicrous, while many were enamored. But one cannot deny the fact, that it set people talking. Famous author Sarah Walter says, The best twists are the ones that make you reconsider what you've been reading or watching, and see emotional layers in it that you hadn't realized were there. The twist ending in Behind Her Eyes, is the creme de la creme of the show. Let's now get to the clues craftily hidden in this slow burn, that melts into a sneaky, big reveal. The story is about a London-based receptionist called Louise who becomes romantically involved with her psychiatrist boss David. Louise is also drawn to his wife Adele, but more as a friend, because she feels that Adele is a lonely, neglected wife. The story of infidelity turns into a supernatural thriller, when we go through flashbacks of Adele's friendship with a certain Rob, whom she had met in a rehab, following the accidental death of her parents. It turns out that Adele has the power of astral projection, something she teaches Rob in the past and teaches Louise in the present. The big reveal is that Adele is not Adele but Rob, who years ago, used astral projection to swap bodies with her, killing and disposing her, while taking over her body and life. So in reality, it is Rob with David ever since they moved to London. But just when David starts falling for Louise, Rob in Adele's body decides to bump off Louise as well, and uses his new form in Louise's body to elope with an unsuspecting David. So, let's go through the clues, that you may have missed in this riveting thriller. 1. When Adele and Louise meet at the cafe, and Louise tells her that she has night terrors, there is a brief knowing pause from Adele, or rather Rob, who understands that Louise's body has a weak vulnerable spirit, just right for him to get into. The knowing expression of Adele just before the first episode ends, shows that she or rather Rob, has an agenda in mind. 2. When they have sex, Adele turns over just like Rob would, since he was gay. And you can see the frustration in David's face because he doesn't really enjoy the act. 3. After Rob's spirit gets into Adele's body, she cuts her hair short and her behavior is also cold, not as affectionate as chirpy as Adele was 10 years ago. 4. Adele of the present is shown to be a heroin addict, something that Rob was. Rob's spirit inside Adele's body even makes him go lengths, visit and get thrashed in an area infested with drug addicts, or bribe David's patients to get drugs for her. 5. Also in one of the conversations Louise and Adele have, Louise asks Adele, who is this Rob? Adele says, an old friend, when Louise says, seems my character. Adele says with calm reassurance, you have no idea. So we see, that Rob had planned this all along. 6. Adele's visiting Louis's flat and scanning everything with acute keenness. It is Rob finding more about Louise and her apartment, as it is said in the show, your spirit can visit only places you've actually been to before while you were conscious and awake, and in your body. 7. The chirpy real Adele of the past, was never interested in cooking because she in her words, was quite rich and had servants around to do everything for her. Rob, on the other hand, was a fabulous chef, the present Adele, meaning Rob, is shown cooking and preparing a feast for her husband David. 8. Rob is gay, so it is understood that there is nothing more to her friendship with Adele. At the same time, he is seen to be inquisitive and jealous about Adele's marriage, even disapproving it. He even mentions that he would love to switch places with her, because he doesn't have much going in his life. Later it is evident that he has a crush on her husband David, he even says that he is jealous of Adele. When he sees them kissing, Rob gets disoriented a bit. 9. When Adele gives a wooden box of her things in the bathtub scene, Rob says that, it is something to remember you by. In the same scene, he even says that, David is perfect. 10. When Adele, who is Rob, tells Louise how to take control of her dreams, Louise stops having night terrors. She expresses her thanks to Adele, who says, maybe, you will be doing the same for me. A big giveaway. 11. We tend to hate David thinking that he is a self-obsessed philanderer, but we realize that he has been correct when he said that, Adele was a different person. 12. You can always tell that this is Rob's story all along, not Adele's, because in the flashback, we always see Rob with Adele, and not Adele alone. 13. If you watch carefully we see that Adele's aura is pink in the astral projection while Rob's is blue. And in the penultimate moments of the show, we see that Adele's aura is shown to be blue. Got the point? 
14. Adele is shown having night terrors, she even tells Louise about her night terrors. But in the flashback, Adele never had night terrors, it was Rob who used to get them. 15. Whenever Louise and David meet for a romp, a fight or argument, we see overhead camera angles, showing that Adele or rather Rob was always watching them. 16. Adele gives Louise Rob's diary or journal to help her free herself from her night terrors. But Adele doesn't say how or why Rob gave such an intimate private thing to her. Obviously, because Rob was still in charge of that diary. 17. A huge clue is the Marianne incident. David seems to be mighty pissed with his wife Adele, because she had given him enough trouble after which they had moved to London. As Marianne recounts to Louise, that there was no affair between Marianne and David. He would only come regularly to drink coffee and chat with her. And soon enough, even Adele, who was Rob, would land up, drink her peppermint tea and, studied the place. Studied the place. Indeed, a precursor to astral projection. Then Adele turns up at Marianne's place and asks her to stay out of her marriage and threatens her with dire consequences. Marianne even mentions that she would have complained to the police but gave it up, because David pleaded her not to, and apologized for his wife's strange behavior. 18. The torn pages of the diary probably had to do with Rob's intention of killing Adele and taking over her body. We are sure that you would love watching Behind Her Eyes again, this time finding the situations more interesting as you pick these amazing clues along the way. Did you find this video helpful? If yes, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and press the bell icon for new videos.